Hello, welcome to Friday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. I'm about to take a look at the Times crossword today. Word of warning though, I think this is going to be a very hard puzzle. I had a quick look at the stats before I um, before I started to solve. You can see there, Derek Harrison, that'll be a real time, seven minutes, but then uh, our own Mark Goodliffe there, ten minutes. I mean, the last time a Times crossword took him ten minutes, that will be a very, probably years ago, I would think, even though very, very brutal ones we get in the Island of the Times Crossword Championship only normally take him six or seven minutes. So um, this might be a long video. Let's have a look. Okay, pack up stuff for temporary abode. Pack up stuff. <coughs> Don't know. Attack pacifist, leading appeal for peace. Appeal for peace. I like the thought that that might be shh, like this, you know, that sort of thing. Um, so attack, pacifist. Whew. Hmm. Not sure. This could be M's part. Yes. So that's going to be an anagram of M's part. Yes. Spy master. Okay, so we look like we're right with our SH conjecture there in one down. Desperate option, many tars ponder ultimately. That looks like an anagram of uh, maybe hmm, option, many tars, and then the last letter of ponder, which would be an R. Desperate option, many times ponder ultimately. Ooh. Not quite getting that. Lock keeper to become a leading musician. To become a leading musician. Headband, yes. If you head the band, you would become a leading musician. And obviously, a headband keeps your hair, which is what Lock Keeper, I think, is what he's getting at there. Um, finally, blow into a warm club, providing cosy environment. Finally, blow. Womb. Okay, you can see that last letters there blow into warm and club. Give us womb. Um, even pieces of carpet, well, that's going to be APT probably. Oh, aptly. Okay, so it's just the even letters of carpet, I, and lay. Let's go back to one across, see if we can get anything from it. Pack up stuff for temporary abode. Um, temporary abode. Stop gap now. Stop. Ah, should be able to get that. Being a bit, being a bit stupid. He'd put out east from the Caymans somehow. Okay, well that's going to be if we take out e from the Caymans, we get nine letters. So a yachtsman uh, would put out to sea from the Caymans, I guess. Uh, ran slowly in what's deceptive light. Ran slowly, trickled. A trick is what's deceptive, and then the light is an LED, so I think that looks correct. A noisy pigeon set about quiet old Hollywood actor. Phew. No. Refusal to lift tax for working. Phew. Refusal to lift could be a reversal of no, I suppose. That would give on. And then a tax would be duty. So on duty, perhaps. That, that is working. Wow. Um, daughter, passionate, celebrated, nude. Um, oh, passionate. If you're passionate, you are heated. You're angry, your Venus de Milo, 
Oh, why can't I get that? They need walk on parts for their sketches. Pavement artists. It's just a pun. <clears throat> Passionate. Oh, why can't I get this? Ah. David, Abid, girl, sorry about that, that was me being sick. Um, fish from tin, roughly prepared sandwiches. Uh, but the word sandwiches here is making me think we need to put the word prepared around an anagram of tin, perhaps? Red snapper? No, red snapper I really like as an answer, it's certainly a fish. Um, Ah, it's an anagram of prepared around SN. Tin, tin the chemical element. I thought it was going to be an anagram of tin, but no, actually an anagram of prepared on the outside there. So a noisy pigeon. I don't know the name of the many noisy pigeons. Oh dear. Set about quiet. That could be that P there. An old Hollywood Cooper. Gary Cooper. Maybe a Cooper. Is that a type of pigeon? Oh, I quite like that. I'm going to leave it in. Uh, have a go at someone's shortcut. Snipe without its last letter would be snip, which is a cut. A promise fair puzzle. Promise word. Fair puzzle is a word. Oh, I should be able to get this for goodness sake. Um, Um, I think it's word something. So look at 14 now. One expecting the right to wear second medal. One expecting the right to wear second medal. One expecting. Ah, something like father to be, maybe, or mother to be. Second would be maybe mother to be the right the right to where one expected the right to wear second second mo and then o b e the uh, r t for right goodness sorry it took a bit of figuring out the wordplay there but what we have here is the right which is t h e for the r t abbreviation of right and that's wearing second which is mo as in just a mo and a medal and OBE wow uh, nothing within reason eclipsing first of these apparently <coughs> within reason sounds like mm, sanely or eclipsing first evidently apparently should be able to get that, but can't. Old peasant to rear woodland creature. Hmm. I'm thinking of hair, but I can't think about why it would be a hair. Let's carry on. Opposed to golf on balance being arranged again. Um, no idea. Starter of duck becoming duck and egg. Starter of duck becoming duck and egg. What on earth? An egg might be an ovoid? Well, why would that be the answer? Of, okay, a starter of a word of a word that means duck. So we're, we're looking at the word avoid here, which is which means to duck. And if we change the starter of the word avoid to a duck, as in a zero, what you score in cricket if you get a duck, you get ovoid, which is an egg. 
goodness me. We're quite proud that I understood that. Uh, benefit that people must carry over. <coughs> I don't know. Uh, fur coat ermine, I'm thinking. Owner's embarrassed admission. Uh, mine, perhaps? Sounds like something you might say if you were... Oh, any port in a storm now fits down here, and that looks like it's correct for the anagram fodder. Any port in a storm. So what's this one now? Apparently... Um, ostensibly, presumably. Within reason is sensibly, and that's eclipsing, uh, surrounding the T here, uh, which is the first of these, the first letter of these. Oh, so this isn't, oh, this could be hind then, perhaps. Woodland creature would be a hind. It's a triple definition. Word for an old peasant, your rear is your hind, and a woodland creature is a hind. Um, okay, so being arranged again, resorted, re opposed to resisting. Let's just have a look at resisting there. It's got a G, it's got a root opposed to. No, I don't like it. I can't quite see how that works. Um, okay, let's have a look here. Africans, Ivorians, I'm thinking. Welshmen, that's Ivor, and some Scots, Ians. Okay, that looks good. Bloomer, Narcissus, immediately, I'm thinking. As drug agent, Narc, sends out missing drug issues without um, without its E. E being obviously an abbreviation for ecstasy, the drug. Article female related unaltered, as is. Article, the letter A, female related is a cis, as in your sister, unaltered, as is. Declined to pot, for example, first and second reds. Declined. Uh, four for American, not half, love his car. Auto, I would think. Autumn is fallen for an American. Um, so half of autumn plus love for O and his car. Americans call their cars autos. Um, time to stop a curiously old fashioned etching technique. Oh, goodness me. A curiously old fashioned. <laughs> I'm very worried, I'm not going to know that. Uh, stuff essential for giving or getting. Uh, yeah, so gorge. If you stuff something, you stuff yourself, you gorge. And you can see that is hidden in the letters of giving or getting there in order. Um, okay, so we've We've obviously got to the point where most people will have got to and ground to a halt, I suspect. This, I suspect there is at least one horrible answer in these remaining clues. Attack. Uh, a pacifist. Uh, Pack up stuff for temporary abode. Crash pad. Let's have a look at that. Could that be a, well, certainly a temporary abode? Um, stuff is to pad. If you pack up, do you, I suppose if, if your computer packs up, it crashes. So that, that's probably right. So attack then is going to be kosh, is it? Why is CO a pacifist? I'll give you a swig of coffee to help me think about this. A 
pacifist is a commanding officer. Conscientious objector. Goodness me. We saw that the other day. Um, I can't remember which puzzle it was. That, um, oh, it wasn't, it wasn't CO. It was some of... It was a conchi we saw the other day when we were solving, wasn't it? Which was an Australian word for conscientious objector. Okay, but that is that does explain that. Good. Uh, so right, come on. Promise fair puzzle. Um, a word. Oh, come on, Simon. Puzzle is that? Um. Uh, 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 uh. Square. Oh, thank you. Apologies. All <coughs> uh, oh, right. Time to stop a cure. A quaint. That could be a quaint around something, couldn't it? Pitching technique. Aquatint. Yes. A quaint around tea. Yes. Okay. Fine. Aquatint. Right. So we've got three more. Uh, declining to pot, for example, first and second reds. Well, reds might be like Trotskyists or something, or Leninists. Declined to pot, for example, first and second. Well, first and second could be, that could be first, I-S-T there, that looks like what you write if you wrote first, and second, that could be that S. Declined to pot, for example. Um, leftists. I suppose in, in snooker, if you decline to pot something, you leave it. So I think leftists is the right answer there. Right, opposed to golf on balance. Again, is an old word for opposed. Restaging, perhaps. Arranged, yes. Being arranged again, restaging. Okay, so rest for balance, again for opposed to, and then golf being the, you know, like Alpha, Bravo, Papa. Uh, radio code word for the G. One more. Is this is this the brute? Benefit that people must carry over. Uh, uh, people. People could be men. Oh, maiden? Benefit is, is aid. So benefit that people must carry. Okay, so the benefit is aid. People are men, and people are here are carrying the benefit. They're, they're containing the benefit. And, then, and type of over, I would think that clue should have a question mark, to be honest, would be a maiden, because a maiden is an example of an over. Um, so let's go for this. I'm slightly worried about Cooper. Um, probably a few other things I've missed here. But I don't think it was a terrible solve given it was clearly a reasonably difficult puzzle. And it is right. So there we go. So it wasn't quite as long as I thought. Um, I hope you got something out of that. Great puzzle, as usual for a Friday actually. There seems to be a bit of a theme I'm sensing over the last few months where Friday puzzles are, are really the the hardest of the week and sometimes the best um, and there was a lot to admire about this one so thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time on Cracking the Cryptic <laughs>